Hey, welcome back to Geo Journey. Today, we're gonna show you our mock-up 2.0 and talk to you about why it's important in our process. Then, we're gonna be taking you out to our on-site build right here at the AMA1 build site. And now, over to Paul and Jason to talk to us about our mock-up 2.0. Thanks, Tara. My name is Paul, head of product engineering here at GeoShip. I want to bring you through the development process where we take some ideas and bring them to life. So just to take an example of a component, we have a special huck bolt that swages onto the, the steel members. And we found that from the manufacturing team, we have to use an open face mold. So there's only one side that we can add features. And we take those concepts and say, okay, how do we put all that together? If we have an open face uh, mold going this way, Let's 3D print it and try that out. So we'll make a mold, cast some parts, we'll put them together on say the mock-up, and from that learn to see how everything goes together and fits, and we can make rapid process changes there. We go through the same development process for each of our components and release parts into the system for Jason, who will tell you about his part of the development process. Here at GeoShip, we use the 3D printer a lot for many different functions. One of the main ones is that this has not been done before. We haven't assembled this design of home before, no one has. So to better understand how it's going to work, we have 3D printed a one to six model of the dome, a section of the dome, to be able to understand how different pieces go together correctly, incorrectly, what sequence to assemble to make it the most efficient and accurate. So an example of how, how, how the scale model helped us is, is when putting, uh, attaching the hubs and struts together, there was the ability for it to, to rotate depending on how we installed it. We knew we had to be prepared for this in the field. We were able to just make something super simple and small. This little piece allows us to hold everything into place, all the struts into place while, while fastening them together. So the exciting part about the 3D print is that you can test out how it's gonna work in the full-scale model. And in our situation, we have that full-scale model, so come with me and we'll go check it out. And so here we are at the site of the mock-up build, mock-up 2.0. This is the full-size scale representation of this the scale model here. How it's made up is we have uh, our hubs here. They connect up to six different struts. And then at the bottom here, we have the anchor hubs. They're a half hub and they are what we lag into the ground and then also build our structure off of. And what we're looking at here is only three anchor hubs. The dome itself will actually have 20 anchor hubs in a circle all around. So as you see from the slice in the previous GeoJourney videos, that was to test the structure with the loft floor and how that is gonna interact. This is the same idea, except this is with the first floor and how the foundation is gonna to react to the skeleton. And the function of both of those is to solve a lot of our unknowns on how the structure interfaces with certain pieces of the dome. This is the 3D scanner we use to confirm the positioning of our product. There's a, a tracker that watches this handheld. Pull the trigger and you paint the surface of what you want to scan. It records all that data and you can then compare that data to what CAD is to make sure that everything is in the correct position, or if it's not in the correct position, how far it's too high, too low, forward or back. And you can use that information to then modify your product to then make it more accurate. So in the dome's case, we wanna make sure all these pieces are within a tolerance so that when we do 100 of them, uh, they go together well. Well, here we are at the AMA1 building site. We got our building permit from Nevada City. These are the plan sets. Um, that we have right here that describes all the details of how the assembly goes together. The site location, which is right here at the tech center. And we have the floor plans right here. Currently, we are working on the building pad and I'm excited to tell you more about that. All right, so we have a dump truck right now that came from behind the building that's bringing in new fill. We're gonna raise the pad up two more feet. We've had two lifts so far. This is our final lift. The dump truck is gonna dump this. Then our bulldozer is gonna spread it out thin enough that we can then compact it with our sheep's foot or compactor. We need a certain amount of moisture in the soil so that it compacts well. Right around 15% is what we're shooting for. So we use this hose to spray down the pad for each layer to make sure that it's gonna compact well. So the machine you see behind me, the white and gray one, is a sheep's foot. They call it a sheep's foot because it looks like the hooves of sheep. It creates that, that, that compaction that we need to be able to build up each layer as we're bringing in fill. 
The sheep's foot also has a vibrator in it. So that whole wheel shakes as we're rolling it back and forth that creates the compaction that we need. After we get this next layer installed and compacted, then we'll be ready for the foundation. That stake that you see that's in the middle of the pad is actually the center of the dome. We're gonna use that to locate where the foundation ring is gonna be. That's gonna get dug out by the machine that's right over there. And then we're going to set up the formwork to pour the cement for our foundation. Every prototype, every permit, and every part we release is bringing us one step closer to the AMA-1 reality. From our team and our factory, all the way to our team here on site, we're building momentum, we're building confidence, and this is more than just a dome we're building. We're constructing a new reality. Thank you so much for joining. We're excited to see you on the next episode.